Hello everyone, this is Pradeep from Tantas when Sri Chaitanya Civil Spash Rajmandi. Today I would like to say few words about English grammar. Uh, now I would like to say an important topic in English grammar which is called parts of speech. Yes, we know, we all know parts of speech very well. So, coming to it, parts of speech consist of eight parts. From Nouns, pronouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, propositions, conjunctions, interjunctions. Nouns, names of a people, places, things or something called ideas or concepts is called noun. For example, Mike wants the fastest car. Here Mike is the name of a person so it comes under nouns. And car is a name of a thing and comes under noun. Next, pronouns. It is used in replacing of nouns. For example, John gave her a gift. Her is used in in a place of person which is noun. So, it her can, comes under pronoun. Next, verbs. Expressing a physical action or state. Federer plays tennis, for example. Uh, here, place is an action, so it is an verb. Adverb, modifying verbs and adjectives. For example, she walked slowly. Slowly is expressing about how she walked. So, it comes under adverb. Next, come to adjectives. Describing the nouns and pronouns is called an adjective. For example, that was an amazing feeling. It was saying about film. So, it was excite, amazing. So, amazing is the adjective. Next comes under proposition. Showing a relationship of words and phrases. For example, the book is on the table. Where is the book? On the table. On. On is the proposition. Next comes under conjunction joining words and phrases and clauses joining words for example uh, she is tall and slim tall and slim joining the two there was an and and so it is comes under conjunction next interjunction showing strong emotions or feelings for example wow that's a brilliant news. Wow. It was showing a strong feeling. So, it comes under interaction. Thank you.